Hi everybody, Gary Williams here for Toolbarn.com's Barn Banter. You've probably heard the saying, the more things change, the more they stay the same, haven't you? And you know what that means, right? Yeah, you know, I'm not sure that I do either, but I think it applies to, to tools because tools always do what they've always done. Drills always drill, saws always cut. Tools just do what they've done for years and years and years and years. But because of technology, they do all those things a lot better now. And we're going to talk to a Milwaukee representative about how they're making their tools better and better and better. We're going to talk about some new tools coming down the pipe. We're going to talk about a new electronic tracking uh, and measurement type of system that Milwaukee has coming out. And we're going to talk about lighting. And all those things are really handy things to know about if you've got things to do in your garage or in the workplace or whatever you're up to. So stay with us. I'm here now with Dustin Roberts from Milwaukee, and, and Dustin is the man who's got the lowdown on what's going on with Milwaukee, right? You know all the things, Milwaukee, that uh, we need to know. I sure do. Well, uh, let's begin then. Well, let's talk about what's coming down the pipe for, uh, with you guys. What things Absolutely. are you going to be introducing in the next few months or the next year or so? So we've got a lot of new cordless products hitting the market. Um, one of the most exciting that uh, we actually just recently launched is the new M18 Fuel Super Hog. So this guy here is designed specifically for your plumbers, uh, your guys that are drilling very large holes, right. um, basically roughing in so that they, they can run their PVC and their uh, their cast iron piping sure, through sure. whatever it is that they're building. How big of a hole is it gonna cut? You can basically. go all the way up to a six inch hole with this guy. Yeah, yeah. Great. And You've got uh, two speeds on the tool here, so you can drop it into low if you need a little bit more torque, or if you just want to go fast and get your job done quick, you leave it on high and you just go to town with and it. And just have at it, huh? Yeah. Cool. Well, I tell you what, that's a, that's a job that can use a little muscle, and oh, it yes. looks like this will provide some of that. It certainly does, Okay. Yeah. So you brought, a, you brought a few other things. Let's go right into those. I did. So one of the uh, big innovations that Milwaukee is doing uh, this year is we're moving into the uh, utility distribution sector with uh, our utility cutters and crimpers. You're talking electric utility, right? We are, yep. yes. Okay. So um, this is what they call ACSR. So it's a uh, steel stranded uh, surrounded by aluminum. Okay. And um, this is basically the kind of wire that runs power to your house. So okay. the guys that are up in the buckets using these kind of tools, they work with this every day. Um, and we basically came out with tools that are designed to cut that and then to crimp it. So this guy here is our cutter. Uh, okay. Comes with our ACSR head, which will do all the way up to 477 ACSR, which is the thickest cable that you'll see. Um, and the way it works, uh, it's a nice open design, so you just stick your cable in there, mm -hmm. you squeeze the trigger. Oh, wow. And it cuts it. Well, that makes short work of that, doesn't it? It sure does. It makes it nice and quick. <laughs> okay. Um, and you know, when, when you're up in a bucket, you don't want to be there too long. Yeah, well, so it's a safety thing. The quicker you can get thing. your job done, the better. Sure. Uh, so, say you've cut your cable, now you need to go and crimp it. Right. Um, and basically toss it in uh, one of these crimps here. And then get it ready to go. And then you take our crimper. And the uh, key to the crimper is you line up the tool um, between the hash marks here. Uh -huh. And basically you just squeeze the trigger and let it do its thing. Yeah. So that's all there is to yeah, it. Yeah, cool. Good. So the great thing about our crimper versus some of the other ones you'll see on the market is we're very well balanced. So one of the big things we looked at was how can we make this more comfortable for the guys that sure. are using it with the big insulated gloves. Um, and we basically put the handle right in the middle so that it's nice and balanced and uh, makes it very comfortable to use. Well, and that's, and that's a big deal for a, a utility line crewman uh, who's got to do this kind of work, whether it's, whether it's routine or following a storm when you're doing storm restoration type work, because that's a lot of work. And anything sure that makes is. that more comfortable helps the work to go faster, makes it safer, safer for the uh, personnel, so yep. big deal, big deal. You got it. Cool. Yeah, it's a big launch for us. We're real excited about that one, and yeah. uh, we're excited to finally have something for the utility guys to uh, to use. Yeah, yeah, great. Now, we talked a little bit about earlier about the uh, um, tracking system that you've got coming up. Correct. Get into that just a little bit and explain that, would you? So the tracking system is part of what we call one key. Right. And one key is basically, at this point, a three-tiered system that um, includes our tracking, which we uh, call our inventory management. Mm -hmm. It also includes our um, 
our tool tracking. So basically, uh, we launched it with our crimper here, and what that does is that records every single crimp that you do with that tool. Um, and that comes in handy because, you know, if you're contracted out by a utility company, mm -hmm. you can finish your job, um, download all of that data, and then use that to create a report that you can take back to the guy who, uh, who contracted you to do that job mm -hmm. and basically say, this proves that we did it correctly. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so that's the second par portion of one key. The third portion is going to be launching in early 2016, and that is going to be our tool control. Okay. So the tool control is real exciting because you'll be able to pair a mobile device to the tool itself. And with that, you'll be able to basically set your, your performance parameters. So for example, if you've got um, a job where you're building a deck and you're just running deck screws all day long, mm -hmm. you can fine tune your impact driver so that it runs the deck screws to the precise depth and it'll do that every single time. Wow, It's okay. exciting stuff. So, uh, and will it also help you actually track the location of the tool uh, at some point, or is that a The inventory function? management does have some of that. Okay. Um, at this point, it's a little bit manual, but hopefully in the future, we'll be able to um, you know, expand on what one key can do yeah. so that you'll be able to track in real time. So basically, the, the um, Advantages to the to the one key system come in precision of operation, mm -hmm. uh, really tracking the performance of the equipment that you've got, so that you know it's doing what you believe it to do or yep. that what you want it to do, and and that'll help you, I assume, make refinements as you go down the road. Certainly will. So, uh, any other elements of that one key system that ought to be that people ought to know about at this point? At this point, those are the big three. Um, you know, we're going to be continuing to refine one key as uh, we get a little bit more. Uh, testing of it in the field sure. and get more feedback from our customers that are using it. Mm -hmm. And uh, more importantly is, yeah, as we see the need to change these things, see what everybody in the field is doing with the tools, we can kind of look at that and say, okay, that would be a great thing for one key to do. Right. Um, right. So it's it's a system that's going to continue to grow as Milwaukee grows. It's an adaptable is, system, in other absolutely. words, it'll, it'll change and, and mature and do what you need it to do if you need it to do it. You got it. Yeah, we're going to take a few minutes and we're going to talk about Milwaukee Lights. And I'm not talking about a beverage nope, at all. We're not talking right? beer here. No, we're just talking about some really cool work lights. So uh, talk about these just a little bit. These are uh, these they're, are these are pretty bright ideas. They're pretty, they're pretty bright, all right. We do a couple cool things with the lighting. Um, first of all, all of our lights are LED powered, so we kind of eliminated halogen. Um, you know, LEDs are going to be a lot more durable, they're a lot more energy efficient, mm -hmm. and uh, they're not going to burn you, which is always a nice right, thing. Right. Um, but what we did with our LED lighting is we launched what we call TrueView lighting. And TrueView is designed to give you a very nice, uh, natural, neutral light. Um, and that's really important for guys that uh, you know, need to see color the way it's intended to be. Right. Um, and one of the great features with this is not only is it battery powered, but you can also uh, plug it in with a uh, with an extension cord if you happen to have power okay, on the job sure, site. Sure. So it gives you options. You can run it off the battery or you can plug it in. And how long will it run off a battery if that's what you need to do? Uh, using the, one of our five amp hour batteries, you should get somewhere around two and a half hours of runtime. So pretty good work life. Oh it. yeah. Yeah, great. Okay. Well, you've got something here that looks pretty cool as well. Certainly. I like so, the looks of that. This guy is our new uh, our new stand light. All right. Um, again, powered off of the 18 volt battery. Um, the great thing about this guy is basically the way you see it is how it comes out of the box. Uh -huh. So you don't have to go and assemble it, which was always one of the things that everybody hated to do on the job site. All right. So basically, to fold it up, all you have to do is flip a couple uh, couple levers to um, you know run the neck down. So it's all self-contained in the unit there. Mm -hmm. And then on the uh, stand here, you've got a uh, button that you just press and you slide that right up. That's all hmm. there is to it. This, this looks like, this looks like, well, I know that it's not, this is really cool. Here, let me trade you just for a sure. second. But it looks like, it looks like some kind of a, a weapon out of Star Wars it's, or something. It's a little, I mean, that's looks really- Looks a little bit like a bazooka, doesn't it? It's, yeah, it's very lightweight, mm -hmm. easy to carry. That's very uh, self-contained. Absolutely. Good, cool. Well, Dustin, thanks for uh, taking the time to join us and, and to explain to us what uh, Milwaukee has coming down the pipeline. I think it's really uh, worth noting 
uh, as we said at the very beginning of this thing, that uh, the more things change, the more they stay the same. But one thing that you can count on is that things do change. And Certainly. it seems that way with Milwaukee. You guys are changing uh, the tool designs. You're coming up with new tools and you're doing different things. And we are going to have those tools available at uh, toolbarn.com. We're also going to have more information available on these tools uh, on the Milwaukee Minute. Uh, there's not enough time to tell you everything that we'd like to tell you right now. So we're going to add some information, uh, add some more uh, material to the Milwaukee Minute uh, on our channel on uh, YouTube. So check those out and if you're looking for any of these great tools, check out toolbarn.com because you'll find them there. Uh, meanwhile, thanks for joining us. We hope that you'll join us next time.